Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back with ranking the novellas that have been nominated for the Hugos. Now for this one, I have a better completion rate than the novels. Coming in at number six, I have my DNF. Just so you know, there is an option on the ballot to do no award. I strongly hesitate to use that just because enough people voted for this to decide that it was, that they thought it deserved an award. And so just because something doesn't work for me, does that inherently mean it's not worthy of an award? I don't know. There's this whole conversation going on about that. And just for me, I choose not to use no award, but that's my decision. In sixth place, I have my DNF, which is The Past is Read by Catherine Valenti. And I bounced off hard on this one. Just the writing style was not working for me. So I put it down <laughs> and did not force myself to try to read it further because it was getting painful. So I don't have anything else to say. If you're interested in it, I'm going to send you over to Kristen at uh, Kristen LSF F Reader because I know she loved this one. So then you can hear somebody who loved it, what their thoughts are. Coming in at number five, I have Fireheart Tiger by Elliot de Bodard. And I have a review for this one that I'm going to attach. I liked it okay, but I feel like it was an ending to a story that we did not get. So then I didn't like it because I wanted the journey and all we got was a conclusion that didn't feel earned, if that makes sense. And fourth place, I have Across the Green Grass Fields by Shauna McGuire. Probably another very unpopular opinion, but I feel like this series has so much just hype and attraction around it that one of the books is always going to be nominated and they don't always resonate with me. Now I did like this one better. This was one of her more narrative where you're going with the character versus just being told things. It was okay. I, I didn't feel like the character, even though she was growing up physically, actually grew emotionally. She felt very much the same at the beginning as she was at the end. Coming in at number three, I have Elder Ace by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I really enjoy this. This was an interesting look of how societies change and how people will view things. This is famously known as having two different characters and one is a fantasy and one is a science fiction, but they are living in the same world at the same time. They just have different backgrounds. One believes in magic and sorcerers, and the other one knows that that's just technology. And they go on a journey together. A lot of fun. Definitely think that everyone should try this one out, just because it is interesting. Then number two, I have A Psalm for the Wild Built by Becky Chambers. Really enjoyed this novella by her, and this concept of people trying to be better while they help one another. That's the utopia that she has created in this world. Now, a lot of people think that a utopia means that it has to be perfect, and I disagree. I think a utopia just means people are focused on making things better for everyone. And if that is happening, then I would consider the society utopian. And we follow a teen monk who has realized they need something different and is on a journey to find that. But at the same time, what they're needing, they're not trying to trample over other people. It's something that they are able to get for themselves. And then while they're on their journey, they meet a robot who robots haven't been seen in years. Once they gain sentience, they left for another part of the planet and the humans let them go. So now this robot is here to ask, what do humans need? And so it's an interesting as the main character is trying to figure out, well, this is what I need, but I don't know what society as a whole is going to need. I haven't read the second novella yet, but I am very interested. And for me, number one was A Spindle Splintered by Alex E. Harrow. And it could just be because I really love the Sleeping Beauty story and the spinoffs on it, and that's what this was. It is a multiverse for the Sleeping Beauty story. 
and it really worked for me. That's really all I have to say. So, yeah, that is how I ranked the novellas on my Hugo Ballot.